Hello everyone, this is Kelly from GT Schmidt. I'm here to go over with you what you'll receive when you get your Styliner marking system. First thing that we have is this controller that, we, that comes with the system. This is basically the power to everything. You'll notice that it has controls on the front and it also has several connections on the back that we will go over later. The next thing that you're gonna get with that is the power cord for said controller. You're gonna get an air regulator and a length of hose. You're going to get the USB cable A to B, which is going to travel from the controller to your supplied laptop. Bearing in mind that this is a USB controller, it does not have an onboard computer, which is why you need to supply your own laptop. The next thing that you're going to get is the software for the Styliner marking system. This you'll load onto your laptop. Once you get it up and running, you'll connect to the system and it will run the system. Lastly, we have here, is the marking head itself. The only difference between the handhelds and the column mountain system is the connection, which we'll go over later. Um, all it does is, is um, have to do with the cable that is used. Okay, one of the things that you'll have to do once you receive your Styliner marking system is you're gonna have to install the software on your PC. You'll get a convenient thumb drive from Schmidt, and you'll basically plug this in, follow the instructions, um, and install this onto your, your PC. There is a separate video available to show you exactly how to do it step-by-step step if you need that. Basic setup for controller is we're gonna start with the power cable. We're gonna flip it around at the back. We're gonna grab our standard AC power connector and we're gonna plug it in. And then the rest is gonna to go to your power source within your building. Next up is gonna be connecting the head itself to the controller. The connector here is an amp connector. You'll notice that it has several notches around the inside of it. You'll notice that those notches correspond to the connector itself. In order to perform this task easily, all you do is you need to take a look at it, make sure that your notches are in place. Once you feel that it seats a little bit, then you're going to twist the connector in and it will seat itself properly. Okay, if you're using a column mounted pin marker, take the other end of our communication cable and we're gonna plug it in. You'll notice that the connector that is on the column mounted style liner has notches on it and those again correspond with the connector. Okay, next connection to make is gonna be your airline. You're going to get a length of tubing and a regulator. You're going to take one end of the, the tubing and we're going to connect it into the connector supplied with your stinger head. The other end is going to fit into the fitting that's on the regulator. The air supply that you're going to get is going to be from your house air and you'll simply connect that to the other side of the regulator. Okay, the very last connection that needs to be made is going to be your US A to B cable that's going to go from the controller to your supplied PC. Okay, the next step in the setup is to turn the controller on. And then we're going to move to the PC and start the software. Okay, I've already pulled down my test mark. We're going to simply place our stinger head over the desired place to mark. Pull the trigger. And there we have an awesome mark. 